And we have this breaking news right now. Acting state Supreme Court Justice John Mahalski is dead. Sources tell us the judge died by suicide earlier today. News force Chris Robotic joins us now in the newsroom with the latest. Chris. Dave, this happens just a dozen days after federal and state authorities were at the Mahalski home. John Mahalski's attorney told us at that time they were executing a search warrant. Today, police were back at that same house in the town of Amherst. An Amherst police spokesperson has not provided any information regarding this. He said they had no information to share with us. But sources do tell us that John Mahalski died by suicide late this morning. Now, suicides are not typically reported on. However, this case is unique given Mahalski's job and law enforcement's interest in him. We'll have more on that in just a moment. Mahalski was an acting justice of the Supreme Court here in Erie County. However, he hasn't had any cases assigned to him since that March 24th raid. The FBI was part of that raid. They had no comments today. We also reached out to the state attorney general's office, which hasn't gotten back to us. Chris Arvaditz, News 4. Thank you, Chris. And you may recall that Mahalski was injured after stepping in front of a train last year in Depew. And as News 4's Luke Moretti tells us, the judge was also being investigated by federal agents. Just last month, the Amherst home of state Supreme Court Justice John Mahalski was raided by state and federal authorities. They could be seen taking materials from the home and loading them into vehicles. At the time, the FBI would only say agents were conducting court-authorized activity. Subsequently, sources told the Buffalo News that the search involved an online business being operated from the home. Mahalski is the same judge who was seen on video stepping in front of an oncoming train and lying on the tracks over a year ago. He suffered a leg injury. Mahalski left the bench for a while and was later reinstated, even though he remained under investigation by the State Commission on Judicial Conduct. But after last month's search of his home, his caseload was again assigned to other judges. Last year, News 4 Investigates reported that the feds were looking into the relationship between Mahalski and Peter Gerace, who operates a club in Chictawaga. The club itself was raided in December 2019. Gerace has been charged in a federal probe among the accusations conspiracy to distribute drugs and paying bribes to a former DEA agent. Mahalski has never been charged with anything. Just days before Mahalski was struck by the freight train in Depew, he was questioned by FBI agents about his longtime friendship with Gerace. And the day of the train incident, Gerace was arrested in Florida. News 4 aired a portion of video taken by a train spotter when Mahalski stepped on the tracks as a slow-moving train approached in February of 2021. News 4 sued the village of Depew after it provided a heavily redacted police report and refused to release any video of the incident. The judge in that case characterized the video as depicting what appears to be an attempted suicide in his decision in which he sided with the village over privacy interests. Luke Moretti, News 4. And it's very important that if you or a loved one is struggling, you know that there is always support available. You can reach the Crisis Services 24-hour hotline at the number on your screen, 716-834-3131. And you can find more resources on their website, crisisservices.org.